if you get up in the morning and you hear quail singing and it doesn't make your heart lift, you've missed out on a big part of what life really is. You know, landowners may only own 10 or 15 acres or even be a larger farmer that might own two to 300 acres. It doesn't matter, each can play a role in being good stewards for the wildlife resource. It's been a long-term trend, their declining numbers. This didn't happen overnight, it's happened over the course of 30 or 40 years, but gradually those declining numbers have led us to take action throughout their range. Uh, throughout the southeast and midwest. Man, you've improved this place a lot. There are management practices that farmers and landowners yeah, can do that don't cost a lot of money, that can take up just a small amount of time and can get lots of rewards for uh, now and future generations. The misconception for many people is that farmers don't care about wildlife. They really do because uh, it's a great indication of the health of, the, of their environment and it, and it creates value for their, for their land. You've got to want to put in the time and effort, but the rewards are tremendous. Hearing Bob White quail call in the morning and the evenings and seeing them flying around on the property is a tremendously rewarding thing.